These guys have dedicated their time. They come from East Bay. They come from South Bay. They come from San Francisco. They come from everywhere around to perform for you tonight. All right, give it up for GRS. My name is Martin Bruce. I'm part of uh, four core leadership members of the dance ministry. Uh, some of the things I do for the dance ministry is choreograph, uh, run practices, and uh, help lead the team. The GRX dance ministry first started about two years ago. There was uh, one of our core members had a vision during worship service of people in, in service worshiping God, not just with their hands, not just clapping, not just singing, but with their whole bodies. Uh, specifically dancing as well. He saw people worshiping God the way David did in, in the Bible, in the Old Testament, with, with his whole body, heart, mind, and soul. I believe worship to be any form of celebration to the Lord. It could be anything from praying, to singing, to playing an instrument, to playing a sport, anything that is one's personal message of celebration and reverence to God. Ultimately, I don't really think there is a difference between our, our form of worship and others. In essence, we're all doing what we love to do um, as a form of praise. When people think of worship, they think about uh, standing up in, in a service and singing along uh, with everybody else in the congregation to some songs. But for us, um, worship also incorporates some sort of movement. Other churches, I believe, have a lot of different opinions about our ministry. Some people encourage it because they can see the, the positive outcome of it, seeing a lot of uh, non-believers as well as believers come together. But I also believe that there's a lot of churches who feel that a dance ministry is maybe too radical, too on the left, where it's not worship in a sense, and they look down upon it. My name is Troy Avery, and I'm one of the pastors here at Stockton Chinese Baptist Church. I understand worship to be a heartfelt response to God that grows out of the recognition that He alone is supremely valuable. Well, there are certainly other churches that uh, do allow uh, dancing within a worship service, and they might base that on passages like Psalm 149 and 150, where the psalmist instructs the Israelites uh, to praise God and then he lists a number of means by which they can do that, and one of those means is, in fact, dancing. But again, I don't sanction that because uh, the guidelines for New Testament worship are given in the New Testament, and dancing just simply is not there. I'm Bobby Lee. I'm the worship pastor here at Great Exchange Covenant Church, also known as GRX. I believe worship is a posture of the heart combined with an act of, of the body, and so we can worship God whether it be here on a Sunday in terms of our singing, whether it be dancing, whether it be even in our workplace or with our families. So I believe it's a posture of our heart in terms of um, our humility and our, our the, you know, how we are to God. Um, and I believe that's, that's combined with um, an act of the body in some way. 